want to demonstrate now is, um, is cupping, which again is a very old technique in Chinese medicine, and I believe it's used in other cultures as well, actually, in the Middle East, uh, is uh, cupping. So this is a cupping jar here, okay? And what I'm going to do is put a flame into here, which will uh, um, burn all the oxygen. It then creates a vacuum, okay? And I'm going to put it... Um, I'll, I'll put it quickly onto Julie's back, okay, and um, the vacuum will suck up the flesh into the cup. And um, what you would use cupping for is um, expelling cold. Um, so, for instance, if somebody had just caught a cold, it's very, very good for that in the very initial stages. And I'd be more likely to do it up here, which is in the lung area, where colds first um, invade. Okay, but in this case, I'm going to be doing it on Julie's kidney area, on the low back. And it's really nice for low back pain as well. And uh, particularly if there's um, stuck energy, if there's stuck chi. Um, I've, I've just applied some massage on here, so I'm going to actually be doing some slide cupping, which actually helps it. It helps the chi move. So I'm just going to get... Um, I've got a pair of forceps with cotton wool, which has been soaked in methylated spirits. Julie's back. Okay, all right, Julie. Can you say in and up? And that's that. So that's so you can see under there, it's actually pulled the flesh right up. Yeah. And there's different there's different levels of of cupping as well. I've done quite strong cupping on Julie, but you can do it slightly lighter if you want to. So if Julie was to have a bad back, um, this would be really relieving for it. Yeah, there are. You wouldn't use it on. Um, you wouldn't use it necessarily on somebody who's pregnant. So you don't have to slide it. You can just leave it so. Okay. And uh, if I was going to leave it so, I'd, you might want to do two cups on either side. Yeah. How long would you do this for? I'd do this, um, I guess, maybe for about 15 minutes, perhaps. And how often? Um, well, you, you would normally use cupping. If somebody's just caught a cold, you'd normally use it at the initial stages. Okay. Um, uh, it's difficult to say, really, how often I'd do it. Um, but with a cold, which hopefully would disappear quite quickly you know, it, um, maybe two or three times perhaps. Um, but with the low back, um, because this will do a certain level. Uh, this will do sort of like the muscular region of the body, really. And, and you would do this in conjunction with acupuncture too. 